a very cool album was released by a very nice artist of whom I'm a big fan of whom I was a big fan but still am because Five is not between us anymore we all know that we all miss him but now a second solo album of him has been released years after he's dead it's called Forever it's very nice I really like it let's dig a bit deeper into it I also met him once it was really cool show you the picture later hi I'm the hip-hop collector hiphopcollector.com five who cannot like love five dog such a nice humble guy great rapper from the days of Tribe Called Quest, the legendary Tribe Called Quest. But back then I always wanted to have that five solo album, which I also adored. That was nice. It was nice to hear uh, a complete solo album by five. I love his voice, his flows. It's really nice. It's really his lyrics. It's, it's always on, on spot. And now, six years after his passing, passed in 2016, sadly enough, I still remember the day I received a, uh, a text on my smartphone, like, hey Tom, bad news. Uh, we just heard that five passed away. I remember it was the first thing I, I, I woke up in the morning and yeah what I do always in the morning you grab your phone check if you have some messages and there was one Whew, that was bad news damn that uh, struck me really hard five gone damn five tribe called quest d5 so young 45 years old Whew, that was sad so now the year is 2022 already six years ago like I mentioned five passed away and now six years later they released his second solo album of which a lot was already recorded and written down because I've been reading about it and uh, Dion Liverpool who in close contact with the family put the album nicely together uh, mentioned that a lot of a lot of work was already done that's really cool there were a lot of notes and like with maybe like a lot of other artists of which uh, albums are released after their death of which I'm not a fan most of the time I admit that because I I don't I don't really like it that when they release something and the artist isn't there anymore so the posthumous albums mm, I'm not the biggest fan but reading about this one that Diane Liverpool mentioned that a lot of the notes contained of course the lyrics which were recorded of course but a lot of the notes contain also extra information like who should be featured on this track on the other track who should produce this one that's nice to read like this you also have a bit more the feeling that the artist is followed and it, it, it is the dream like how the artist saw this album come alive with this album they did a really nice job it's very emotional also you hear that uh, with his mother coming in and stuff it's like whew, it's really hard but I think they did a very very nice job on this one I really love it I hope that they will release it soon on vinyl because at the moment it's not yet available okay that's another story I really like it and that's the most important as for now we have nice features, Cutie, Maceo, Dwelly, 
course a track with Redman, Buster Rhymes, many more nice productions also. Really like it. I also met him once. That was really nice. That was. I went to the Netherlands, to Holland, like other people say, to meet him in a hotel. It was not. A, it was not a concert or a gig or whatever. No, he was just there in a hotel with uh, some of his crew. We went there, and they came down to the lobby. Uh, we just asked for some pictures. That's the only. That's the only thing we asked for. Actually, we didn't want to take too much of his time or their time. Some nice pictures. Had some small conversations with him. It's really nice. That was so cool. I really have very nice pictures also of him. I've never released them. They're on my computer. One day I will show him to the world, but meeting Five Dog, that was so, so, so cool. He also did a video drop for me, I will show it later also. It's nice, Five Dog. So for now, I'm very curious what you think about this newly released album. Let me know in the comments. See you all. In the next episode, rest in peace, Five Dog.